everybody, we're in the Radisson, uh, just out by Donnybrook. Right in there is former world champion Ken Darty. He's in his own practice room and he's invited us down to learn how to play snooker and then we're going to take each other on in a challenge. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Yeah. I got me chalk pockets. <laughs> oh God, I got me sweaty palms. <laughs> I'm ready. Morning, Ken. Oh, mid practice. <laughs> How are you? Good, looking to see you. Yeah, you How too. Are you? Thanks for having us yeah. this morning. Claire, how are you? Well, yeah. good to see you. So, a, a bit of tuition, and then we're taking each other on in a, in a frame, perhaps? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a little challenge match. We're going to have a little bit of tuition for us, just to see how your cue action is. Okay. Uh, and then, we're going to have the main challenge, and of course, the winner is going to play in the, the big night next week in the Helix against Dennis Taylor. Um, so, that should be a bit of fun. That's bonkers! In front of about a thousand people, yeah. so... <laughs> I hope you're about up for it. Uh, so, let's see. Let's let the games begin, as okay. they say. Do you have a cue my size? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to cut one in two. Well, <laughs> should, should fall, well, should be alright. Okay, just look at that. Oh, Alright, here we go. Oh, it looks so easy. It does look so That's easy. That's all it is. So, if you have flat on the, on the table and then put your tongue. Are you left-handed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure that's a left-handed cue. <laughs> just right, now put your hand, yeah that's it. Now okay. put your tongue close to, to, close to you, that's it now. And you can spread your fingers a little bit, and then you can raise your hand a little bit in the middle. Just raise it, that's it now. But just get straight in line with it. And you can get your, your head down, you can come down a little bit on the cue, so then you, can, you get a better sort of vision of where you're actually striking the cue ball. How's my tongue looking there now? Is it no, your tongue's looking okay, but just, I'll just straighten around. You just relax. Yeah, that's it. Bring it up a little bit more. And, uh, you can bring your hand back a little bit. Just wrap on up. So just look. That's it. So you've got a bit more free. Okay. That's it. Now, nice and easy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Not bad, not bad. Just a little bit more pace, but you've got the... It's nice and straight, you know? Yeah. How did I feel? Good actually. Yeah. Probably the best shot I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just have a, a few goals just here. So then, like when you when you when you bring it back and forth, say like that. Okay. Yeah. Then the last time, okay, just push it right through. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Just give it you know, two or three like three or four waggles, and then you can on the last one you can just let let the cue go. Now get down on the cue a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So Ken, what did she not do right there? Okay, but what, what happened was there, she was lining her up, lining her up wrong, you know? So what you do is, okay, I'll just give you an idea, hold on, just stand back a little bit to it, so I'll just show you. So when you, when you line up, it's just sort of, you're sort of, you're a little bit crooked there, because you're, you're sort of, you're standing like that, oh, yeah, you know okay. what I mean? So you stand in right directly behind the cue ball, and then just move in, and then so you, everything is all in line, you know, the cue ball, the ball, and then pop, you know, on your head? Yeah. <laughs> just so you're such a, just yeah. the, the easy so you just stand, Yeah, so you just stand behind the cue ball so you can actually see where you want to hit it and then yeah, and then you use the yellow ball. Really <laughs> <laughs> technical. That's it. Amazing. Yeah. And it's, you just move your hand up a little bit at the back, yeah, so it's nice and perpendicular to the cue, you see. That's it. Get in! Hello, man! Did I win? It's all over and done with you. What a challenge! <laughs> That's, that's okay, okay, but you're steady, but this might be better for you as well. Again, your hand down, nice and, nice and flat. Okay, now bring your thumb into your forefinger. You spread your, spread these fingers out a bit. Yeah, that's it, now. Now, just up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, it's perfect. Now, hold on, you see your backhand, just have a look, turn around. You see where your, your arm is like that? You want to try and have it nice and straight, so it's nice and perpendicular to the cue. So you got a little okay, bit... Okay, so shorten the cue like Yeah, short, that's much better. Oh, yeah, that feels better for me, yeah. Now, you can get down on the cue a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. It's not bad, it's not bad. Your head just came up there. But it's, 
It's actually a, you got a good strike on the cue ball. So you're saying probably the, the main thing that he got wrong there was that he, he didn't pot the ball. He's moved, yeah. <laughs> no, he's not saying that. Look, apart from missing the ball, his head nearly hit the light. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, take two. That. Okay. Yeah, again, yeah, nice and, nice and easy. That's it, now hold on. Yeah, bring it, now bring your tongue into your forefinger like that. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it, look at that. Steady as a lump of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and me bone sticking out. <laughs> so you think they're ready to take each other on? After all that expert tuition, we're ready for a game. Right? It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be snookering you tonight. So after six and a half hours of high intensity snooker, we've managed to put all the balls in the pockets ourselves because both player and I couldn't put the ball so it's come down to the black ball and it's all on the black so hopefully uh, I'm gonna not get any more grey hairs and uh, somebody's gonna put it really really quickly because I've got a match on Sunday <laughs> <laughs> and so, today is uh, Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> so it's over to you Abe uh, Claire broke for us she will force crack at the black me in vain, but victory is in my sight. I'm gonna be snookering you, snookering you tonight. Love is a game, snook is the same, so join the queue. Get a good grip, don't let it slip, and think about the pink. Don't let a red go to your head. Oh, he's gone oh, on the black wood, you believe it. No. <laughs> I can see defeat, what a beautiful shot. The crowds was. are bouncing up and down in the aisles. I have some understanding of what it takes to be a world class snooker player from that experience there this morning. The pressure of playing in an arena like this, I understand uh, now how difficult a game of snooker is really. Um, it took you a while to get going. <laughs> <laughs> it was just over 30 minutes before you popped your first ball, but it, it, it took a little bit of yeah. time. You're a slow starter. Well, the, yeah, I, I think I am. Technically, that seems to be my approach to um, to start as slow as one possibly can, i.e. not pop any of the balls, and just hope that uh, Claire was to make enough mistakes and I'd win on snookers. Claire, a little bit unlucky, but it was a bright performance. Uh, yeah, I certainly I feel from my first attempt um, that it went pretty well, and I'd like to say thank you to uh, my colleague Aidan Power for giving me the chance I needed <laughs> to, to pot a ball, which I think I eventually did. It wasn't a very uh, friendly approach, but I need to put you in a lot of snookers there. He did snooker me once or twice, whether it was intentional or not, I'm not sure. <laughs> but either way, great game, well done. Okay. 800 people, 2,000 people are going to be watching you two play in the Helix. Best. Okay. I think we better start at 6 o'clock. Yeah, we start at the normal <laughs> time at 8. If you're going on for us, what do you reckon? Is there any way, uh, any way possible that you can turn me into uh, a credible snooker player by next week to play in this competition? Absolutely. I should, you should take two weeks off and then give the game up. <laughs> <laughs>